Now, keeping our focus on the Indian Space Agency, ISRO has been establishing itself as a leading player in the global arena. The Space Agency has been launching satellites for global clients too. And with successfully achieving a commercial mission with its heaviest rocket, ISRO has added one more feather in its hat. In our next report, Vyond Correspondent Siddharth MP explains the importance of this high-profile mission. The Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle, or the GSLV Mark III, is India's largest and heaviest rocket. It's a magnificent piece of engineering, nearly 44 meters tall and weighing up to 640 tons. So far, the rocket has had four flights in the year 2014, 2017, 2018 and 2019. And believe it or not, all of them have been successful. It was this very rocket that carried out India's second moon mission. Chandrayaan-2 in the year 2019. However, so far all the launches of the GSLV Mark III have been for India's own scientific needs. For commercial purposes, India employs its smaller rocket known as the PSLV or Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle. Being a smaller rocket, the PSLV can lift a maximum weight of 1.75 tons to low Earth orbit, which is roughly around 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface. The 1.75 tons of the PSLV is a very small payload capacity, given that the rockets from competing nations can launch payloads well over 20 tons to low Earth orbit. That's where the GSLV Mark III comes in. The rocket can launch nearly 10 tons of weight to low Earth orbit. In a first, UK-based company OneWeb has signed a contract for two launches of their satellites on ISRO's GSLV Mark III rocket. Marking the entry of India's largest and heaviest rocket into the global league of commercially available medium-lift rockets. The OneWeb's constellation of low Earth orbit satellites are meant to provide internet connectivity on Earth. As a trust of 4,800 kilometers. This launch is significant because of the fact that India is earning more than 1,000 crores by performing this launch. It is of course a commercial arrangement that ISRO's you know, commercial arm known as ENCIL or New Space of India has undertaken. This is just the first launch that we've witnessed in a couple of months from now, perhaps in early 2023. We'll also witness the second launch in this series. With video journalist Argar Sami, this is Siddharth MP. We on World is One. For more on this story, we were earlier joined by Dr. Amitabha Ghosh, a NASA scientist from Washington, D.C. Listen to his insights. Uh, in this business, um, you see these missions to Mars, to Moon, etc. All this doesn't matter as much as the infrastructure you have in place. So what India used to have was the PSLV, which, as your correspondent just mentioned, probably could could carry up to two tons to low Earth orbit. It's just a measure. It means that it could carry even less to the moon, etc. So with such a small launch vehicle, it is hard to go forward with bigger ambitions, like sending rockets or sending missions far away to, say, Jupiter or, um, or more pertinently for astronaut missions. So this is huge increase in cap cap capability. So as you as as your correspondent again mentioned, um, this can carry between eight to ten tons to low Earth orbit, uh, which is huge a uh, huge multiplication of the cap capability, uh, which means that the next stage. Uh, so so we have to get uh, um, this launch vehicle flying multiple times to show, see that it is uh, dependable, and then you can gradually build on this for um, human space flight, which is one of what ISRO is trying to do. So it's, I think it's a huge deal. It's the revenue that 
they mentioned the get out of this flight and the commercial launch market, etc. Those are very small benefits compared to this huge benefit that uh, it can do more things, go to more possible missions to planets and do this human space flight. That is the big benefit of this.